All right, we're looking ahead tonight. Open enrollment for health insurance plans begins next month, and the State Division of Insurance has released the premium prices that consumers can expect to pay. This why Andy Cohen's been looking over the numbers. He's in studio tonight with a closer look at what you can expect if you're shopping on the Colorado Exchange. A lot of people do. Absolutely, Rob, and that's what we're talking about. The average premiums, they're going up 5.5% next year. It is still an increase, but when you consider that last year those premiums increased by 32%, it looks a lot more stable this year. And things vary depending on who your health care provider is. Uh, these plans by Anthem on average decreasing, actually, over last year, whereas some of the other ones, this smaller Denver Health Medical Plan, up by 21 and a half percent. Now, the good news for people who buy their plans on the exchange comes depending on the income, uh, your income and the size of your family because you might be able to qualify for a subsidy. That's what this chart shows us. If you take a look here, basically everybody who qualifies for that tax subsidy will see a decrease on average in the cost of their plan. Statewide, that average about 24 percent. In Colorado Springs, it's 20 in Pueblo. It is 5%. For the first time in three years, premiums on Colorado's insurance exchange are relatively stable. And that's no accident, according to University of Colorado professor Craig Conniff. You know, the Trump administration last year tried to um, take various steps to undermine the ACA, um, and the courts and others have stepped in and stopped that. And so we're beginning to see some stabilization uh, because of that, largely. But a significant change in the law itself could impact the price of health plans in the future. Last December, as part of the tax cut bill, Congress ended the individual mandate, which required Americans to buy insurance or pay a fine. We asked the professor if he thought that by removing that stick that more people might leave the exchanges. It doesn't look like it. Um, frankly, people seem to want to get the subsidies to make sure them and th they and their families are covered. Um, and so that really seems, you know, so the, the carrot seems to be working extremely well. Estimates from the Congressional Budget Office suggest that premiums might rise by about 10 percent because of a shrinking insurance pool. But the professor said that a bigger threat to Obamacare right now is playing out in a courtroom in Texas. So a judge right now in Texas is trying to decide, you know, whether um, whether to strike down the whole Affordable Care Act because the individual mandate has gone or whether to keep the law in place. Previous lawsuits challenging the Affordable Care Act were defeated because the Supreme Court ruled the individual mandate could be interpreted as a tax. By the way, the open enrollment window closes December 15th. So you just got about 45 days to get that uh, apply for those plans. The State Division of Insurance, they hold consumer forums four times a year. And the next one is going to be about these ACA plans and the premiums. It's going to be held October 26th up at the state capitol. Watching out for you. Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thanks.